Today's games were not looking great for me. Instead of creating win conditions for my team, I created a lot of loss conditions. But luckily for me, the League of Legends gods blessed me with the better ADC. Of course, it's not like I did nothing to deserve my LP. At least I didn't type or ping. Nice. Which was a huge factor that helped our team get the win. Okay, and today we are starting against a uh, Sivir and a Soraka. And I'm playing with a Kalista. So, technically, our lane is way stronger. Like, Kalista is insanely strong level 1, Pike as well. Only problem is, Sivir kinda counter us once she gets level 2, because I won't be able to, like, hook her or, like, get a e stun on her. I mean, it's not impossible, it's just gonna be very difficult. Soraka is also weak early game, but she scales, so if we don't win early game, it's gonna get very difficult for us. As you can see, Kindred is starting on the bot side, but we are not leashing, because we are doing the Bosch strat. Remember, if you're playing engage support and you have a strong ADC level 1, you have to do this, like, it, you can get a huge lead by doing this. Obviously I was going for the Sivir, but I missed, at least I got the Soraka and we got her barrier and flash, so right now Soraka cannot play as aggressive as she would like. It was a good reaction by the Soraka, she can always cancel my hook uh, if she's fast enough, but what she doesn't take into account is that her silence has a longer cooldown than my Q. This even works with Morgana, that a lot of people believe to be a counter, which it is in a way, but no, it's not a huge counter. Because Morgana's E shield cooldown is around uh, 20, 26 seconds, I believe, meaning that your Q is gonna be off cooldown way sooner than her shield, so this would give you a chance to engage at them again without uh, Morgana being able to use her shield. And same thing goes for Soraka, because her silence cooldown level 1 is 20 seconds. Ah, it was unfortunate. I got rooted by Soraka Z, and now the Warwick is very strong. But I think Kalista survived this. Yes, she does. Oh! I don't think you win, do you? Oh! Well, yeah, this was a disgusting play by me, like I missed a Q point blank. But lucky for me, Kalista is very good at playing ADC, so she was able to get the kill regardless. Okay, listen, I know I missed everything, but please take into consideration that the Warwick is moving at a thousand movement speed. So it's pretty hard to peel the Kalista from the Warwick, you know? Like, there's not much I can do there without Flash. Now, here I'm rotating to the Herald, because as a support, you usually, not always, but you usually want to rotate to objectives. And if we get the Warwick, it's a huge shutdown. Also, support mains, keep this in mind. The reason I rotated without hesitating too much is because Sivir and Soraka are gonna have a very hard time trying to dive uh, Kalista under the tower because first she's playing against Soraka, so Soraka is weak early game and Kalista has a lot of kills right now, so she's pretty strong. But let's say I was playing maybe against a Nautilus or a Blitzcrank or a Listar, I probably wouldn't have rotated unless I saw the enemy support rotating as well. Wow! Yeah, it seems Kalista doesn't even need me because, like, she's just that strong right now. Ah! Oh. 
Oh no. Yeah, no excuses. That was entirely my fault. I I was too impatient. Even the Kalist is telling me that I should be using her art to engage, which is actually true. Like completely my bad. I'm throwing. Like I said at the beginning, the more the game drags on, the more Soraka becomes a huge problem. The heal from Soraka's ultimate plus Warwick's healing is insane, like we weren't able to kill him. He was like at 10 HP, I believe. I almost didn't contribute anything in that team fight, but at least I was able to tank Warwick's ulti. Huge mistake by the Warwick because if he doesn't get an ult on the Kalista, they are gonna lose. <gasps> Okay, I deserve to be reported for that. I would say the most important lesson uh, from this game is trying to be more patient because I almost threw the game when I tried to engage on the Soraka with ulti and flash and missed. The better play was just to wait for Kalista and use her ulti to engage. Now oh, for this matchup on the bot lane we're facing Lucian Brown which is known as a very strong bot lane. Why? Because Lucian is able to proc Brown's passive very fast thanks to his own passive that gives him a double attack after he uses an ability. So how do we win this lane? By taking short trades. If we go for an all in and they are full health more than likely we are gonna lose every time so we first need to poke either brown or lucian down and then we can look for an all-in probably when they are around at least half hp
The only reason I engaged like that was because we had the level advantage. But as you see, as soon as they got level 2, I'm retreating. Ah, so annoying. Oof. Oof. The only reason Brom died there beca was because he had low HP. I had to flash even though I was full HP though. The guy is doing a great job here. I think she gets it. Yeah, she got the Lucian. She dies for it, but I think it's still worth it. We get a two for one. Right now, before I recall, I'm just making sure the wave does not freeze here. So I'm just making sure it crashes into the tower. Because if I do not do this, then me and the guys are going to be in trouble since we already used our summoners to get the kills. Very well played by the enemy Kha'Zix, he got the counter gank and we are losing both solo lanes. So it's looking very rough for us right now. Ah, oh, I got her. Okay. No, what? Got him losing against... Kha'Zix is bottling right now, so I don't think he's gonna contest the grub, so I'm going back to bottling. Oh my god. It's unfortunate, but sometimes ADCs will do this to you. Like, she didn't even get dove under tower. She just, like, decided to die against the Lucian instead of waiting under the tower to get the farm. Not much we can do about that, though. I shouldn't have pinged her so many times, but I don't know, those kind of deaths uh, just tilt me a lot. Oh, Nasus is dead. They got him, actually. Oh, I think Yasuo rotated there. Oh, six grubs. Maybe we can take this. We can take it. We can take it. Kill him! Let's go! Okay, she got the Lucian though. Ah, I'm probably gonna have to initiate, so I'm gonna get the Divine Aegis. No dragon yet. Oh my god, that was close. What? Oh my god, and Garing is running it down. Nice! We got her. This is dangerous. Oh! 
Vamos. <laughs> nice. I gave a ton of gold to everyone there. Okay. Ouch. Nice. <gasps> Yasuo! Dead. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Mm, I guess we're pretty far away from Soul Point, but I think we should be able to secure this. Although ADC has no summoners, so. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Watch out, brother. Wow, they did the burn pretty fast. Oh, run, bro. Was a good ulti, but we needed more damage. Six flash though. Oh, oh my. This game I didn't think I had a lot of impact on the mid to late game but I think the best thing we did was not tilt because in the early game our mid laner and top laner were losing hard. But don't forget this is solo queue and enemies can also make a lot of mistakes and usually you can get a decent comeback if you are patient enough.